<laughs> she pampers pooches. At dreadlocks for dingoes, Tess Holton makes dogs beautiful. They never stand still. But right outside the downtown St. Paul shop, it's really hard to see. Things aren't always so beautiful. Do you feel safe? During the day, yes. At night, probably not so much. Crime is a concern, and so is the loss of nearby businesses. Basically, it's kind of been getting emptier, I would say. Now some hope the city can change its tune. How would you describe downtown St. Paul right now? You know, I think right now we're, we're in the midst of this recovery. Enter Joe Spencer, a man with a plan. You know, we've, we've made so much progress over the last uh, six months, especially. The president of the St. Paul Downtown Alliance wants to bring back life that left during the pandemic. That's the goal of uh, this program is really just to, to fill some of those vacant spaces with some fresh energy. The Alliance is trying to find 10 small businesses looking for low cost, short term leases in downtown St. Paul. We're looking for folks to uh, give essentially minimal rent for about six months, give somebody a try. He took us to an empty space that will soon be filled. So here's one right here. Next month, a fashion design company will be moving into this storefront. The reality is there's no playbook for how to recover from a pandemic. And so uh, this is just one strategy. It's a strategy. Okay, buddy. I know. She hopes works. Yeah, in that right goes. Benefiting all those on two or four legs. To see a lot of those, you know, things opening back up. Yeah, I think I think the community would really like that. I mean, I would really like that. Definitely bring people um, back to the neighborhood.